in Greensboro, North Carolina. It is a steel cage, guys. The only way to win is by pinfall submission or escaping the cage over the top. Or, oh, he's still... You're kidding. He is still coming out, mocking Brute with that motorcycle. Why? Why, Fabricio? Why? What is his issue with Mr. Brute? I mean, in the last live stream, I mean, there was a bit of an interaction between Brute and Fabricio in that triple threat match. So, of course, he's going to continue to mock him until those two face down the line. That is your SWL prominence champion. Ready for battle in the steel cage. As I was saying, pinfall submissions do occur and can count for a win. Or you can win by escaping the cage through the door or over the top of it with both feet landing on the floor for it to count. Here we go, here comes another champion. It's champion versus champion, non-title. And his opponent from New York, weighing in at 177 pounds, the international, internet champion, Sub-Zero. Can Fabricio actually get this massive victory against Sub-Zero, the chat champion, who's been champion for quite a some time for all of the 18 live streams and a bit before that 2k didn't save it yeah Fabrizio that's that's what happened sorry <laughs> I should proof check everything that I do but if I did I'd be here for literally days so I'm sorry about that so here we go champion versus champion inside of a steel cage non-title who's gonna win All right, we are ready. There is no referee in the ring. However, they can count the pinfall and submission from the outside. The referee actually has a microphone to um, do the pinfall. All right, here we go. On the attack is Fabricio early. Oh, picks him up, throws him down. Absolutely beautiful. And now looking for the suplex attempt on Sub-Zero, and he slips out. Into a German suplex. Remember this match was picked by you guys. Uh-oh, and he's going up the cage. He's going up the cage. Trying to make an escape. Oh my goodness. Oof. Steel cage. There was three great options as opponents. We had also in that poll, we had AJ and Kakashi. Uh oh, and look at this. What is this? Sub Zero off the ropes. Oh, and beautiful standing moonsault. This is going to be a tough matchup for both competitors here tonight. Uh oh. Backslide slam. Brilliant stuff there by Fabricio. And now he's scaling the cage. What's he going to do? He's going to jump from the top rope. Frog splash. No knees up. Knees up by the Chats champion. Who is the better champion here, guys? Is it the Chats champion or the Prominence champion? Fabrizio trying to bring back honor, prestige, resiliency. Just a natural um, wanting to do things the right way of defending titles and whatnot. Trying to bring all that back to SWL. Something that has been missing from the Chats Championship division. Oh my goodness, what a stomp. Uh-oh, into the roll-up. One. The referee calls for a one. Remember that referee on the outside is watching a monitor. 
He has a microphone with him. Oh! What a beautiful moonsault to make the count. That's a fair enough call by the official on the outside. What a chop off the ropes. Oh, he misses. Fabrizio has been in the ring countless times with Sub Zero. This is not their first encounter. It is their first encounter one on one within a steel cage, though. This is perhaps, if I can recall my history correctly, this is our first steel cage in SWL livestream history. Sub Zero probably have. 100 overall, lol joke. No, no, he's, he's got a 93. DDT, but his moveset is cracked. And now he's asked for the door to be open. Can he get a W just like this? You are kidding. Fabrizio getting up to his feet. The referee trying to unhook the hinge. Oh, to open that door. But luckily, Fabrizio was up quick enough to take him down. And now look at this. Sub Zero up to the top rope, trying to scale the cage in the corner. If he gets to the top of the cage, he is halfway there. That is your halfway point. All you have to do from the top then is uh, oh, make your way to the floor with both feet landing on it for a win to count. What a beautiful hurricane runner there. Follows it up as missed with that springboard flying axe kick. Oh. Or Pele kick, if you will. A couple of times now. Fabrizio has his number. Look at that. Goodness me, look at this. Wrenching. Oh my goodness. Boots into the back, into the spine. Fabrizio now going up. What is he doing from the top? Elbow. Lands the elbow. The prominence champion taking it to... The chat's champion in this steel cage match. Uh oh. Oof, right hand off that combination. Sub Zero fighting back. Now Sub Zero going up. Sub Zero, of course, being self represented, meaning the subscriber that owns that creative wrestler, his name is Sub Zero. His opponent also self represented. Fabricio Empire. Uh-oh. Sub-Zero again trying to scale the cage. Fabricio is rocked from that kick as he was trying to pull him down. Oof. And Sub-Zero. Oh, into the RK Cutter for the win. Let's listen to the ref. Oh, and a two and a half. And a two and a half. Because there is no actual ref in the ring and we can't hear the slap of the mat, each time there is a pinfall, I will go completely silent if necessary. And now he's going up to the top of the cage. Sub-Zero is groggy. He's feeling the effects. Sub-Zero trying to make his way up. Fabrizio trying to escape. Oof. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, now Fabrizio kicking him down. This is Fabrizio's chance for a massive win. Look at this, he's trying his best to make his way down. Oh, and he's running out of time. Can he? Oh, Sub-Zero barely saves himself. In this match, Fabrizio just about was about to make his way down over the top of the, of the cage. Onto the outside. Now look at this. Sub-Zero trying to make his plan of escape. Both men are going to go to the top of the cage. They're not fighting each other on the way up. Oh my goodness. This is very dangerous. We've got the prominence champion. We've got the chat's champion fighting on the top of the cage. This is extremely dangerous. One wrong move and the match is over. For the person who goes down. Or their career. Oh my goodness. No. Sub-Zero trying to escape. He threw him off the cage. Fabricio is down. Sub-Zero going for the victory. And at this point, unless Fabricio makes a, a quick scurry, Sub-Zero, the chat's champion, will get the W. And Fabricio knows his fate. There's really not much he can do. And Sub-Zero makes his way down the cage, getting the W.
Oh my goodness. Great effort by Fabrizio Empire. There was many stages in that match. Fabrizio could have picked up the W. Absolute GG's. Even the RK cutter, which nearly got him a three count. Only a 2.9, according to the referee on the outside. And look at the crowd here in Greensboro, North Carolina. Loving everything they saw. Absolute insanity in that cage. Fabrizio has got to be hurt after being thrown off the top of that cage. That is absolutely insane. What a match. Don't be disappointed in that, Fabrizio. GG's, man. And you can see Fabrizio sitting in the corner. Maybe a little bit disappointed in himself. I wouldn't be. It was a great match. But uh, there's your winner, the Chats champion, Sub-Zero.